Hey, what's up, everybody? So we are seeing major sell-offs happen in the crypto markets, guys. We are seeing blood in the streets. People are out with their knives, like, ah, ah, trying to, ah, into it. oh, no, the, ah, I'm dying. The price is dropping. Sell for a loss. I want to make this video and try to ease your fears, try to calm you down. Sit down. Sit down. It's okay. Take a breath. Woosa. It'll be okay. Moments like these are when you make a lot of money. Don't freak out. Look at it in a different light, guys. It's all about how you view things. Do you guys not understand that moments like these are when people make tons of money? You don't ever want to buy in the green. You want to buy in the red. You want to sell in the green. You don't want to, you don't want to do the opposite, guys. What are we thinking? Right now is when you should be getting super excited. Matter of fact, where's my wallet? Where's my wallet? I'm going to take out my wallet. I'm going to start buying. I'm going to start. Hold on. How much money I got right here? I got, I got to take my money. I'm going to start investing it when the market is red. That's when you take your money and invest. Guys, you want to invest when, when the price is low. Not when the price is high. You're doing the complete opposite. So stop freaking out. Stop being, oh, I told you so, crypto, blah, 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 blah. We like the volatility. So get off of all that. I like the volatility. That's what we want. That's what we want as investors and traders, guys. Go take your little stock portfolio and your little 401ks or whatever that you want to do and go be, be content with your little crumbs that you're getting. Let, let other people tell you how, how, how well off you can be. Not me. Not me. This is when I get excited, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm approaching this current situation. I'm going to show you guys how you should be thinking. Let's get right into the charts, guys. So we're seeing, like I said, across the board, a bunch of red. Right now, Bitcoin is fighting for its life to stay above $30,000. A lot of people are saying that that is going to be the floor. I kind of have three different scenarios that pro probably play out. I'm very, very conservative. I like to protect my positions. I like to take all scenarios and, and make game plans for all three. So I'm not ever going to be surprised. Something happens, I'm going to be like, I was prepared. You know, and that's how I think you should be as well. Um, that's the name of the game, guys. That's, that's investing. We're not looking for million dollar flips. We're not looking for short term uh, fortunes to be made. We're looking for strong positions for life changing money, for investments, for investment opportunities, guys. So we're preparing for all three situ scenarios and situations. I'm gonna show you guys what I think that is. Right now, like I said, Bitcoin's fighting to stay above $30,000. We're at 31.5. The buying pressure is coming in, guys. I'm not gonna lie, the buying pressure, you see this is volume right here, these red and green candles that are pointing upwards like little buildings. This obviously is a bunch of sell pressure. The bulls are coming in, trying to buy it all up. They're gobbling up. They're like, no, 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 we're, we're, this is cheap. We're buying it up. I, I, I'm tending to believe that this is a buying zone. I'm DCAing right now, uh, dollar cost averaging at different levels. I'm not throwing all of my money at one swing or one you know, position or whatnot. I don't suggest you do that either. That's, that's stupid. Don't do that. Um, I almost said the other word and I don't agree with it, but that's stupid. Dollar cost average, guys. Take a little bit of your position. You feel good about it, buy a little bit right there. If it dips a little bit more, buy a little bit there. If it dips a little bit more, you buy a little bit right there. That's what dollar cost averaging can. That way, if it does keep coming down, your average price is down here somewhere. It's not stuck way above there and you're not drowning under the water. Um, so let's take a look at my scenarios and what I think could possibly happen if we are going into a true bear market or if we've already been in a bear market and we haven't realized it yet. So this is this is kind of what I'm thinking here. Follow me now. Let me reset these charts. Uh, follow me here along, reset the charts. So let me zoom out here. We're on the daily. These lines are my best case scenarios for a bear market, more than likely for a bear market and worst case scenario for a bear market, guys. Uh, all, three of these, all three of these are very, very possible. So follow me what I'm saying here. So this first line here, guys, is 30,800 is what I found for the floor. It's what I'm calling for the floor. It's based off previous support, buying power, resistance, yada, yada, yada. It's based on a lot of things, but that's my first best case scenario. We're hovering right around that, guys. Excuse me. See, as you can see, we've hit it three times. Boom, boom, boom. And it's been getting gobbled up. Um, our more than likely scenario, though, guys, is I could see us going down to twenty thousand, and it won't it won't be for for very long. If it does, it's gonna do something like this. It'll come, hit this, hit this, break, break, bounce right back up, and then maybe trend somewhere here while we're in the we're in the bear market. Uh, that's what I think will more than likely happen. Uh, just 
it's so it's so much to tell you why I think that's going to happen. But it's basically based off institutional buying, institutional support, uh, retail support, uh, past support and resistance, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that. But worst case scenario, I could see retail uh, over leveraged traders getting hit really hard for a quick wick down. It'll do something like this, bang, bang, boom, saying this here, test, bang, 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 boom. And it'll hit, this is kind of a dramatic, but it'll hit around here, which is about $10,000. 10 to 11, $12,000 is what I'm thinking. Um, but that won't be for very long. That'll just come down, like I said, and it'll come right back up into what I think around $20,000 range. Um, and I think we'll stay there for the bear market. That's what I'm thinking happens, guys. So we are taking our positions based off that those three scenarios happening. Uh, and I've, uh, like I said, I've, I've, I've have a multiple, it's not just Bitcoin that I trade. I have several different others. I'm really big on Ethereum, really big on ADA. As you can see here, I'll show you ADA. So all of these lines are colored lines here are positions waiting to be filled. These yellow ones are positions waiting to be filled. I have smaller orders here and it's, I mean, I have to zoom in and kind of show you guys that, but I have a lot of orders right here as you can see i've dca'd all of these levels all of these levels spent a lot of money guys and i'm not worried one bit because i wanted this i wanted these cheaper coins i'm thankful for these cheaper coins so i've dca'd all of these down and i have big banger orders set like i'm gonna buy oops i just moved that i'm gonna buy uh, where did i move it boom put it back to 50 i'm gonna buy you know, 3,000 here, another 3,000 here, 5,000 here. I'm going to buy 10,000 here. So my dollar cost average to reinforce my position. I've told you guys what my my overall spot trading uh, technique is. It's the thousand layer defense. As you can see, I have tons of layers to re reinforce my original positions. Uh, that's just how I do. I'm still in profits, guys. I'm actually playing with profit money, with house money. So again, I was able to realize a lot of profits up here with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, I was very, very, I don't want to say I'm lucky because I keep my finger on the pulse all the time, which you should too when you're investing. Uh, but I was able to actually recognize my profits and get out and just, you know, so we're, we are where we are. But guys, that's my thoughts. I want to change the narrative. I want you guys to start thinking not so fearfully when you guys see moments like this, guys, when you, if somebody could have told you that, you know, when, when Facebook, um, uh, Twitter, when all of these Apple and all these companies first came out that, you know, to invest and then, and then we had a dip and then it goes back down. Like if somebody could have told you, no, buy it, buy it, idiot, buy it now and just hold on. You would have, you would have thanked them. You would have thanked them 10 times over. You could have put your whole house and your, your, your family savings into it and you would have been happy about it. Think of it the same way, guys. When in doubt, zoom out. When in doubt, zoom out. Let me show you guys the Bitcoin weekly chart. These are through multiple bear markets, multiple big corrections, guys. I'm going to show you guys something right now. Even from the, from the lowest of the low, if you would have just bought and held on, We'll go, we'll go to the current price action. You would have been up 30,367% on whatever investment you had. If you had the balls to believe in what you're doing and you weren't so short term thinking, you weren't thinking such short term uh, with the mindset of such short term goals. If you were thinking long term goals, long term life changing money. You would have been up $30,367. So you can say whatever you want about cryptocurrency. Ain't nothing in the stock markets or traditional markets or centralized markets giving you a 30,000 return, percent return. Not at all. We can go to Ethereum. We can go to Ethereum, guys. And from its inception to what it's at right now, we'll go from the lowest of the low. And you could have bought at any of these levels right here. Just current price. Mode. You would have been up 43,000, more than 43,000% on your position, guys. Are you kidding me? And you guys are doubting it? When in doubt, zoom out. You guys are doubting it? Even from here, if you would have bought when it first came out, with ADA first came out, we'll, we'll take it when it first came out and you would have held through all of this right here. Current price, you would have been up 340%. 340%, guys. 
you guys gotta have the balls to do investing. You gotta have the mindset for long-term money. If you would have bought on the low here, let me just show you guys something else. If you guys would have bought these dips from, from the very bottom of the flash crash to where we are now, 8,481%. Get your mind out of the clouds. Get your mind out of the fear and the FUD of social media and news outlets and all these big hedges and stuff like that. These people pay these news companies to put out articles. Do you guys, have we not learned anything? They want you to come to dinner, but they don't want you to eat what's on that plate. They invited you to the table, but they had no intentions for you eating. Understand the game. Don't try to outplay them. Outlast them. Outlast them. They're in for profits, guys. They're not in this to lose money. Yeah, you're getting crumbs compared to them, but you can get filthy rich off crumbs, guys. Filthy rich off crumbs. Anyway, that's my that's my thoughts, guys. I want to kind of show you guys. Don't freak out. I'm not freaking out. I'm not freaking out. Guys, I want 20,000, Ada. I want 20,000, Ada. I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. I want 20,000, Ada. You know why? You want to know why? Because I believe in Ada. You can go ahead and look it up. It's Cardano, a.k.a. Card Ada, whatever. But if I... Look, look, guys. There's multiple other ways I can go about showing you guys and verifying this to you guys. But Cardano right now is, is 142, right? Let's say we have 20,000 ADA. And it hits $25 in five years. Half a million dollars. Guess what happens when it hits 50? Guess what happens when it hits 50, guys? You guys, if you guys are bad at math, let me, let me just go ahead and show it to you guys. 20,000 ADA, 20,000 units, right? Times $50. Oh, oh, we're not bad at math. It's a million dollars, guys. Can you wait five years? Can I? Can you give a little bit of your money to get that kind of return? I can. Anyway, I hope this kind of eases your fears. I hope you guys understand what the big institution with these filthy rich people have done is the same thing I'm asking you to do. DCA, dollar cost average into these dips. Hold for the long term. Stop trying to get filthy rich fast with leveraged money and just, just invest. Invest in your future. Stop letting other people tell you what you're worth. Make your own worth. Make your own money. Invest in yourself in your own future. Sure, you got a Roth. Sure, you got a 401k. Sure, you have retirement. But guess what? The government tells you how much you're worth and they're going to tell you how much you're going to get off that fiat money that's, oh, by the way, decreasing in value because it's inflated like crazy right now. So go ahead. Go ahead. Keep letting everybody else tell you how much you're worth. Let them tell you how you can live. Let them tell you everything you want to you hear because it's comfortable. Not me. Not me.